Hey sports, health, and golf fans, Coach Frank here. Today is part two of our series on how to improve your golf swing. We talked about mechanics last time, range of motion, and how it affected your golf swing. Today we're going to focus on muscle tension and flexibility. So what are the factors behind getting rid of muscle tension and gaining flexibility to improve your golf swing? We're going to get to all that and more right after this. For Game On Sports Fitness and Health fans with another episode of the Sporting Good Posture Digital Radio Experience. Gear up for Coach Frank's advice from the sidelines as he helps you crush your game. No matter what sports, health, or fitness game you play. Hey, this is Coach Frank. I'm Sporting Good Posture. What are you sporting? Hey, Coach, what do you got for us today? Welcome back to another episode of Sporting Good Posture. This is Coach Frank. And if you listened last episode, we talked about the range of motion and the posture issues that are causing you problems with your golf swing. I want to help you take 10 strokes off your game. And this is part two on how to do it. We're going to be talking more about muscle tension and flexibility issues that are really holding back your mechanics. The mechanics of structure are influencing the mechanics of your golf game. And I'm going to get to how to improve your swing and your golf game right after this short message. Where do you carry your stress? Whether you carry it in your shoulders, hold it in your neck, or feel it in your back, it's usually not chronic, but it's always annoying. Carrying stress isn't normal at all, but how can you know for sure how the stress you carry can be hindering you? The answer is the Advanced Postural Impact Screening at Ideal Health and Wellness Center. Chiropractic studies have revealed that posture is more than just how straight you stand. It measures spinal and skeletal support of every body function. Poor posture reveals trouble areas in your basic structure, interfering with body function, leading to pain, discomfort, tension, sleep trouble, and even digestive issues and allergies. There isn't a body function that isn't potentially at risk. Dr. Margella conducts the advanced postural impact screening to trace back postural issues to their origins, which often have been accumulating over your entire life to find the real reasons things haven't been working their best. And that means everything when you're trying to reach your ideal performance. See where the sources of the stress you carry lie and find out what you yourself can do about them. Call Ideal Health and Wellness Center at 6 615-567-6683 now. If you've listened to the first episode of this series, we talked about range of motion and how it's affecting your golf swing and how it's potentially holding you back from gaining 10 strokes off your game. I want to help you figure out what to do if there's other mechanical factors that are holding you back from getting that score lowered and potentially getting 10 strokes off your game. And muscle tension is another big factor of why your golf swing isn't where it should be. Last episode may have left you wondering what some of the causes are of your range of motion problems and your posture issues. I want to talk to you more about why the muscle tension is there and what causes that. If you think about if you swing a golf club, think about putting a rubber band around your upper arms and your shoulders and imagine trying to swing the golf club with that restriction around you. Think about what would happen if you tried to do that. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to get full extension. You wouldn't be able to extend your arms all the way back. You wouldn't be able to follow through on the swing. And that's what muscle tension is. Muscle tension is what's holding your body back from fully extending and fully swinging that golf club so that you can actually follow through and finish like you're supposed to. I'll give you a couple of examples. The first one, grab a golf club, shrug your shoulders up as high as they can go. Don't do a full swing, but try to do a swing as your shoulders are shrugged up, pulled up as high as they can go, and see how you're able to swing the club. And then move your arms forward as far away from your body as they can while you're holding the club. And again, don't do a full swing, but as you move the club as far away as you can, try to do a golf swing in that position. Can you see how there'd be a restriction in your swing? Do you see how there'd be a change in your body mechanics and your golf mechanics? You're probably wondering where that tension comes from that's restricting your range of motion. I'm going to tell you about where that tension comes from. There's two parts of mechanics. There's structure and there's function. And if you think of the engine of a car, think of the structure of that car and how the engine is mounted in that car. If the engine is in the right position, it's not going to function like it should. The car is going to be out of whack. You're not going to be able to drive it. When muscle tension 
is high, it's going to interfere with the mechanics of your golf swing. It's going to interfere with the mechanics of anything you do, whether it's sitting, standing, playing sports. But it really starts at the basic structure of the body. That structure, being out of position, will lead to interference in the nerves that supply those muscles. And in turn, then, it's not going to be able to have the power and the flexibility that's needed for the golf swing. That nerve flow needs to be less restricted. Whether you're young or old, there's a lot of people out there that don't realize that there's always more potential in increasing their body's function and increasing their body's potential to be able to do whatever activity it is, and in this case, a golf swing. The golf swing really needs to be in a certain pattern or else there's a lot that can malfunction with that golf swing. And as many of us know, you've gone out to the course and if something's wrong in your mechanics, you're just not going to hit the ball straight. It doesn't matter how strong you are. doesn't matter how many years you've played. If something's out of position, if the structure is off, the function of that golf swing is going to be compromised. And we've all been there. We've all been to the, to the tee box on the first tee and boom, goes right in the woods. I've done it hundreds of times. And it's one of the worst feelings in the world when you get to that first tee and you slice that ball in the woods or you punch it right in the water and everybody's watching <laughs> or waiting on you to, to get that ball back and do it again. Nothing's worse than having that feeling that you know everybody's watching and you just messed up that shot. Those are the kind of things when you play golf that really stick out. That's one of the things I always think about when I go to play golf is – I want to make sure that I don't look like a fool out here. I want to make sure that I look like I know what I'm doing. And I've put the time in to make sure that I've improved enough where I'm able to go out in the course and have a good time and have a good golf game. And range of motion, muscle tension are two of the biggest factors that hold back somebody's swing. It's been one of the biggest factors that that held back my swing. And all the patients that come into my office, those are two of the biggest factors I've seen that really hold back the golf swing. And the enjoyment of going out there is really the most important thing. Nobody wants to go out there and shoot 120. It's also not good for your body to to swing the club that many times because it's definitely going to wear you out. So the less strokes, the better. The less time that you have to play, the better because you're going to enjoy your game more because that means you got a better score. Muscle tension, range of motion, flexibility – are really important in holding you back from gaining those 10 strokes to lower your score on your game. And all of us, probably for the most part, the patients I have are hitting between 80s and 90s for the most part. But think about what it would feel like to shoot in the 70s. Think about going out one round and shooting like a 74 or a 78. And for those of you that golf, that's huge. That's almost pro level at that point because as pros – you know, we'll hit in the 60s and low 70s. Think about what that would feel like if you could have a game where you where you went out there and you shot around par, or just above par. It, it would be the best feeling. That's what we all shoot for. That's why we all play. We're always playing to get better. We're always trying to get better and really get to that point because it's all it's also about bragging rights. If you get to hit in the 70s, that's something that you can talk about for the rest of your life. That's something that when you go out, when you play with your friends, you play with your family, they know you've put the time in to get to that point. And there's no better feeling than having that great shot or even getting a hole in one or just flat out shooting in the 70s would be one of the the biggest things that people shoot for as golfers whenever they start playing. They know that's that's the goal. If you remember from part one, structure and posture really tie all this together. It's the basic factor behind everything that goes into a golf swing, as well as just playing tennis, playing golf, playing baseball, working out, running, whatever you're doing. The basic structure and the basic posture are the huge factors in why someone may have muscle tension or poor range of motion or decreased flexibility. Again, the easiest way to check this out is go in the mirror. Go in the mirror, check out your head, check out your shoulders to see if one is higher than the other, to see if it's tilting one way or the other, to see if a hip is higher than the other. Also, if you look in your lower body, see if your knee is turning in, see if your arches are flat. Look at all these things and see if those are 
happening to you. See if that's something that you notice as soon as you go in the mirror. Most of us will see that when we look at ourselves in the mirror. You can tell right away if something's not straight, if something's not balanced. If that's something you're seeing, there's definitely something going on. It can interfere with your structure, which will interfere with the function. And all the factors that are involved in a golf swing or just any kind of activity that you're doing are not going to be at its highest potential. Perfect posture is in your nature. So if your posture isn't perfect and you feel like you have to work for it, something is wrong. Something's obviously causing that bad posture and needs to be identified. And that's where I come in. One of the things I do is we can evaluate your golf swing in the office. We can get a club, have you swing, check and see what's going on with that and see if your range of motion is there, flexibility, if there's muscle tension, we can identify all those things. And as a fellow golfer, I want to help you identify what's going on in your swing and what we can do to fix it and potentially get 10 strokes off your game. Find out what's going on and why it's happening in the first place. Most of us don't realize that until we look in the mirror. And in my office, we can really figure out down to the basic core of your body of why that's happening. This is something I've done for years, not only for patients, but also for myself. And I've seen many improvements on golf games and and any sport that you're playing by just figuring out where the basic problem is coming from and what can be done to fix it. Just mention this episode, contact the office, 615-567-6683, and set up an appointment that we can figure out how to identify if there's a structure issue. I'm always happy to help, and I would never think about charging you for these recommendations. Even if I have to comp you my time, as a fellow golfer, I want you to be successful. So if you have any questions after listening to part one and part two of these episodes, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can follow me and DM me on Instagram at Sporting Good Posture or PM me on Facebook at Ideal Health and Wellness Center. Tell me what's going on and I'll tell you what I think. Remember, the coach's door is always open. This is Coach Frank. I'm Sporting Good Posture and taking 10 strokes off my game. How about you? The Sporting Good Posture Podcast is a broadcast wellness production powered by Ideal Health Wellness Center. All content copyright 2021. All rights reserved. Executive producer, Frank Sardella. Coach Frank appears courtesy of Ideal Health Wellness Center in Franklin. For more information, visit sportinggoodposture.com and follow Coach on Instagram at sportinggoodposture. Yeah, now they're going to be like, so did you take 10 strokes off your game? I did. Okay, good. <laughs> you got to be able to back that up. I actually did. Yeah.